Well, my life has been bliss. <laughs> Left school at 17, worked in the building line, and uh, got married in 1964, 56 years ago. I've uh, had three good kids. I played a lot of cricket. I do a little bit of gardening, but not very much. I'm too busy trying to keep up the tradition of the Cornish crab pots. When I was a youngster, the fishermen used to use them all the time, and there was probably two rows of boats, all working 50 to 100 crab pots. They would cut their willows during the winter and make them until through to March. You see them walking up the beach to land their crabs and lobsters. Those were the days, I'm afraid. No more. Now, the more modern way of fishing is to use parlor pots, which are made of metal, and they're far too heavy for the likes of me. So I thought, well, I'll have to make a Cornish crab pot. There's not many people now in the county that make them, and they're getting less by the year. And uh, it would be a shame if we lost the art of making a crab pot. Once it's gone, it's gone forever, isn't it? I learned it off a gentleman called Lewis Billing. He used to make 80 crab pots a year. The last one was the same shape as his first one, whereas mine vary considerably. <laughs> You've got to wait until the leaves drop off the willows, until the sap has gone out of them. Then they will bend quite easily and uh, not too rough on your hands. And if you had all the sticks on the floor, you'd probably make one a day, but I would do it more leisurely. I decide to just uh, make perhaps one a week. So I uh, take my four or five pots out and hope for the best. A willow pot will last the season quite easily. Then at the end of the year, they will either say, well, I think this one might do for another couple of months, or they untie the knot and let them sink to the ocean. And it washes up on the beach for firewood for making a barbecue. It's lovely out there on a summer's morning with the sun coming up and the water flat as a pond, and especially if there's lobsters in the crab pots. I would like to think that someone after me will still make crab pots and pass it down to the next generation. I hope my grandson will learn how to make them just to keep the method going. It's a shame for things to die out, isn't it? It's, uh, it's the Cornish history, and being a true Cornishman, I've got to keep it going.